I think I got some great poofage here. <laughs> hey everybody, looks into swirl here. New day, new tumbler project. So I have some new things to play with. These are from PBO and I have a um, interesting history with PBO. We're mates after that horrible fantasy prison paint. These are not paints, these are pigments. In fact, they are specifically fluid pigments ready to use. They don't say much on the package. I mean, they say some things. They say concentrated pigment for tinting resins and other techniques with an asterisk. So I tried to find where the asterisk refers to. Here on the back we have, thanks to the nozzle, this liquid pigment concentrate can be easily mixed with resins, solvent-based products, oils, and oil mediums. And then there's another asterisk. So I don't know if that's their idea of other techniques or there's no other asterisk in the packaging or on the outside anywhere. So kind of leaves me wondering what. What? It goes on to say bright pigmented colors with excellent resistance to light and miscible. I am not familiar with that word. We will look that up on Google. Miscible with each other for an infinite number of colors. Depending on the dosage, obtain opaque and or transparent colors. I'm not sure how you can have opaque and transparent at the same time, but okay. Store vertically after opening with the nozzle upright. With the nozzle upright like this. So I suspect after I use these, I will just find a, a cup. God knows I have a few here. And drop all the tubes in the cup so the nozzle's pointing up. I assume that's so they don't leak. We're going to have a play. Because I believe, even though it doesn't say it on the package, these are alcohol-based. If I can find this online where I got that idea from, I'll also add that bit in here. This is a 20 skinny straight that I sanded, washed, spray painted matte white, put some resin on it. We are going to have a play with our new ready-to-use PBO fluid pigments. Here's what's going to happen. I have my 20 ounce skinny straight on my cupinator so it can turn fast. Don't know if that's going to be a factor or not. I'm not going to use all of these colors. I was going to start by testing the rainbow, which is usually how I test new colorants. So I have my rainbow colors. I will not be using black. I specifically got the black in this because this is supposed to be such an intense pigmentation liquid that I'm gonna try the black in Aquacast, and I'm also not using gold or pink. So I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Orgy Biv. I don't know how these are gonna behave in resin. They are alcohol-based pigments, but this is not alcohol ink. It's much, much, much more intense pigmentation in alcohol than an alcohol ink. So honestly, I'm going to put resin on here. Then I am going to start by taking my red and I'm just going to put a drop on. I'm going to see what happens. We're just going to see what we get. Honestly, that's all we're going to do here is put some of these inks on and see what happens. Could be beautiful, could be ugly as all get out. Don't know. Sit back and enjoy the show.
And we're back. Okay, it's the next day. It has set up. I'll be perfectly honest with you, and this is really hard for me to admit because I am a rainbow person. Anything rainbow, I'm there for it. I am not crazy about how this looks. I don't like... I like the green a lot. And the red's kind of cool. And the blue's kind of cool. I don't know what's going on down here with the purple. And the orange and the yellow, are they're not great. I will put something here on the screen showing you the exact moment I probably should have stopped adding colorant to it. But of course, being me, I had to keep going. I had to get complete coverage, which was a huge mistake. Okay, we're back. So this time, here's what's going to happen a little differently. Obviously, I have a black cup this time. I'm going to mix up the same amount of resin. I'm going to apply it the same way. Then I'm going to hit it with heat to get it moving a little more more. Then I'm going to put the colors on and I'm going to use the pink, which we haven't used yet, the gold, also haven't used yet, and the green because I really like how it moved on the other tumbler. I'm going to restrain myself and put on very few drops. <laughs> I want to see if I can get what I do put on here to move around and give us some interesting swirls and not cover up everything. And we're back! Okay, this turned out much more like what I was thinking initially. I won't say that I'm insanely crazy about it, but I think it's really pretty. I like how it looks. I'm glad I, I gave it a chance with letting the, the inks do their thing. I really love what this thing did here. I think I got some great poofage here. <laughs> I do love how the green, the gold, and the pink all work together here. But I've stopped it here for now because I want to put some graphics on it. This is my favorite brand, Nito Printable Vinyl. This is their white. And I cut it out this time on premium vinyl with the pressure set from default to more. It's artistic. Doesn't have to make sense, damn it. <laughs> All artistic interpretation. I'll put one on the bottom and we'll, we'll call it. I'm going to take this outside after I put some UV resin around all the edges. Let it sit in the sunshine and cure up. And then I will put a final layer of resin over the whole thing. I will absolutely put 504 glitter into it. And we'll see this and the rainbow one out in the sunshine. So stay tuned. 